Oya. <laughs> now today I thought it was a perfect opportunity to uh, broaden my horizons and work with um, whole spices because this dish requires quite a few spices. In alphabetical order, I thought it would be a good idea to start cooking food from every single country in the world. So I'm in B right now, making a dish from Bahrain. It's in the Middle East, it's in the Persian Gulf. It's like, it's an island, which I'm not too familiar with it. So I'm very interested and excited to try out this national dish of theirs called chicken mach bouche. Chicken mach bouche. It's a very spice heavy chicken and rice dish. Now first I gotta make this thing called baharat, which is a uh, Middle Eastern spice mixture composed of a number of these spices. So if I need like one and a half teaspoons of cumin, how much does that translate to in a whole seeds? Okay, in a frying pan, green cardamom. These are cinnamon chips. This is a dried lime, but we'll get into this shortly. Black pepper, cumin seeds, coriander seeds. So I'm gonna toast these up for like three to four minutes. I don't want to brown them or anything, but I just want them to get a bit toasty. Okay, once the lovely aroma of spices is in the air, whoo, fragrant. Look out for my new toy. It's a mortar and pestle. I'm gonna call him Morty. Now again, this is something I've just never done, so bear with me while I try to figure this out. Let me start with the cinnamon. I'm gonna start grinding this stuff up. Cinnamon's gotta be the toughest one to grind. Once I grinded up some whole cloves in my coffee grinder, and my coffee tasted like clove, clove coffee for like a few months afterwards. So I'm totally happy just trying this out. Interesting. Cardamom is by far the most annoying one because you have to squeeze it out of its pod. If it tastes as good as it smells right now, it's gonna be well worth it. It's a much more time consuming task. I don't know why I'm holding that like that. It takes longer, it's more manual work and you're working those arms, but um, it might be worth it. So let's just throw everything into old Morty here. So a teaspoon and a half of dried limes. The cardamom was a bitch. I need one teaspoon. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And this pile right here is a teaspoon and a half of cumin, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of coriander. I hope the proportions are correct. Now this is the stuff that I've already got pre-grounded. I didn't actually do this stuff. It's one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of ground cloves, and a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and around half a teaspoon of saffron threads. All right, let's mix that all together. And that, Baharat mixture. This is a full cutting board. Here's the thing, like I'm halving the recipe that I'm following because I'm the only one eating it today and this serves eight. <laughs> I could easily just throw around a bunch of numbers right now in terms of like how much of each thing that I'm using. But I think I'll just leave that for the description area. Some chopped up cilantro, some roughly chopped up tomatoes, chopped up, nearly diced up jalapeno pepper, grated up some ginger, grated up some garlic, roughly chopped up onion, pinch of saffron soaking in rose water. And then the rest I'll call out while I'm adding them into the pot. How about that? Right here, boom. These right here are dried limes. They're called lumi, which is very popular in Middle Eastern food. Uh, not so popular over here. So I had to go to a special shop to find this stuff. Uh, it brings like a sourness to the dish. So I gotta just poke some holes. Yeah. All the flavors of the lime come seeping through. Of course, I'm gonna need some chicken. I'm not using the white meat, so that can go away. Separate the drumstick from the thigh. Most of the photos I've looked at of this dish do not have the skin on the chicken, so I'm gonna take it off. The big pot, Dutch oven. Instead of butter, I'm using ghee, clarified butter. About two and a half tablespoons or so, give or take. Uh, the recipe doesn't really say, but I think that's nice. Get off. medium heat, let's melt the butter, the ghee, add in the onion. 
cook these guys until they have browned slightly. Onions are starting to turn brown, so I'm gonna add in a few of these things here. I'm gonna add in the garlic, yippee, the ginger, woohoo, and the jalapeno pepper, and around half the cilantro. After a few minutes like that, I'm gonna add in the baharat spice mixture. But not all of this, just only a tablespoon and a half. But I forgot I'm halving this recipe, so I have to take three quarter of a tablespoon out of here. Tomatoes in there. A tablespoon of tomato paste. Two dried limes, Lumi. Two? I'm halving the recipe. Yeah, I'm gonna use two. So three green cardamom, quarter teaspoon of turmeric. I'm gonna throw in some cinnamon, chili powder, one bay leaf, some pepper. Chicken goes in. Cover the chicken with all that stuff. Salt, add enough water to cover the chicken. The chicken is now covered. Now I need to cook up this chicken in this water for uh, until, it's, until it's ready, until it's slightly soft. Bring the water to a boil. I think I'm gonna cover it. Turn it down to medium heat. Cook it for 10 minutes. Uh, the recipe I'm following is incredibly vague, so I just found some other recipe and I took that little nugget of information and applied it to this one. Let's hope it all works out. Chicken seems like it's done. Chicken's done, okay, great. Take that out. There should be one more piece in there. There it is. Here's the problem, I added way too much water into this because I was trying to cover the chicken completely as per the recipe. But now I need to cook rice in here. And I think I have too much water. Okay, I did the math and I think I need four cups of water in this thing in total. When I remove some of that water, some of the good stuff was removed along with it. So I'm just gonna add that back into the pot. Off to the side, I've had this rice soaking in water for the last few hours. Uh, let me strain this and add it into the pot. Some long grain basmati rice, in it goes. I'm also supposed to add in the rest of the cilantro. Stir that in too. And hopefully I resolve that rice water issue. Cross your fingers, put a lid on, turn the heat down to a dull roar. I'm gonna check back in around 15, 20 minutes. Time to give the chicken a little TLC. I want it to look a bit charred, you know? My skillet. All right, add a little bit of oil, chicken. The idea is to get the chicken nice and crispy and, and brown on the outsides. Oh, hell yeah. It has been around 14 minutes. The rice is done. Saffron soaking in the rose water. I forgot to add this into the rice before I was cooking it. So what if I just added it now? Is that gonna be something terrible or something? Let's just see what happens. I'll add a little, just add it all. I was watching one video of this recipe and it was in a different language, so I didn't know what they were saying, but they added the chicken into the cooked rice like this on top. Let that hang out just like that until I'm ready. I'm just gonna go all out with this plating. This is a feast. I think that's it. I think we're done. Order up. Chicken is really good. Oh, in the rice, the dried lime is the secret weapon. You get taste of it all over this thing. It's a thing of beauty. Look at this thing. Mm. It's kind of like candy. So many friggin' flavors in this because I've just added so much stuff to the pot. It's just, it's like an un unstoppable amount of flavor. Mm. Oh, it just smells so beautiful flavor overdrive, really. It's just, that's a good thing. I really like this a lot. I really like it. Thanks for sticking around, everyone. I'll see you next time in another country that starts with the letter B. Shout out to my patrons scrolling across the screen right now. Uh, they're helping out in a big way, and there's a link in the description if you want to also check out and see what that's all about. That's it. I'll see you next time. Peace. Bye.